Okay. And there we go. Cool. Uh, hi, Adler from FM 1021, along with Sarah from Fanagram and Honor. How are you guys doing? I'm good, I'm thank so you. Good. How are you? Good. Uh, you already answered my first question. Are you going to be together or separate? Where Where are you separately? Well, I'm, I'm in Scotland, okay. uh, where I've been for the last thousand years. Um, so, the, and, it's all right. The both places to be. And I am in Los Angeles, right. California. Well, uh, I can't say enough good things about Must Stop, but I have to start out by asking the most 2020 question. And since uh, we're already in this situation, did you guys do this song together or was it a kind of file sharing, uh, social media exchanging of ideas and audio files? Uh, yeah, the latter. Yeah, we, um, okay. we were, well, we were like locked down. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we, I, I had heard that Sarah had heard the track and really liked it and, uh, and wanted to be on it. And uh, yeah, I found that really, really exciting. And then we, we started sharing vocals and parts back and forward. Mm -hmm. And it just came together really quickly and nicely and easily. And uh, yeah, it was a really, yeah. it was good. Luckily, um, I've got a studio at my, um, in my garage. So I was, I was able to just record my vocals solo and and do everything on my own and it was uh really simple and fun i love the fact that as as crazy as 2020 has been both of you separately have been very busy uh with an ep and then a full album um that's i guess as these past months have gone by i think the symbol of artists that we're gonna see in the future you know what i mean i mean there's nothing wrong with taking this time to just stop and go I'm not going to work on anything. I'm just going to stay safe and focus on myself. But there's also a lot of entertainment and enjoyment for fans to go, oh, my God, thank God they're still doing stuff. We need stuff more than ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think, like, I'd say, I'd, I'm, like, I don't know, but for me, it's kind of kept me sane throughout this whole thing as well, like, working my way through it. I don't know if you've been the same. Yeah, I, uh, I think – I. I I had this moment, see, our album came out March 6th, which was literally, I think, out for a week or less bef right before our, our first lockdown. Yeah. So that, so I was very happy that it was released before all, all of it. But at the same time, I think we did maybe like four interviews and did like, like, literally nothing. So it was, it was a bit um, confusing to be, to to feel like, okay, well, I'm sure you know, like the, the feeling of releasing something and then seeing everybody's thoughts on it and, you know, talk, being yeah. able to talk about it. Uh, and we didn't have that at all because yeah. obviously there was a lot more uh, stuff to be worried about. So it was, it was quite bizarre. I, I actually spent most of my time uh, not r like being angry at uh being an artist <laughs> uh, but then Boy. i turned to i turned to the drums and i learned how to play the drums and um uh and guitar so I, i'm in this uh, like was in this other mindset um with learning because uh, i never would sit down and like and actually focus on learning an instrument or doing something like that it would always be like oh you got to write another song yeah yeah you know but so that was my experience I love the idea of practicing drums during quarantine because even if your neighbors get pissed and come over and go, can you keep it down? You go, quarantine, go back home. You can keep I mean, <laughs> You're like, you, you have to leave me every, alone. <laughs> everything's up in the air in COVID. There's so many things that you could get away with, I tell you. <laughs> no, there is. Uh, the song itself uh, and the Must Stop EP, I, I have to say on her, uh, I just love uh, Kill TV with Nile Rodgers is on it. And then this, it's, it's the EP I can say of this year that no two songs sound the same, uh, but it's still a beautiful EP all glued together. It's so cool. Oh, thank you very much. Do you, do you know, it's been a constant hindrance uh, to me, the fact that I can't seem to write two songs that sound even vaguely the same. Uh, yes, so, I love it. Yeah, I like, the, like, like the Beatles. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? exactly, it's like the Beatles, mm -hmm. totally. So uh, yeah, I feel like, I feel like now with like, 
playlisting and stuff, I can kind of get away with that a little bit more, you know, and, and particularly when I'm working with other artists and things, I can, you know, I can dip into their sound a little bit and uh, it's kind of cool. I kind of like working like that. And I think for like followers and stuff, it keeps it kind of interesting as well. You know, they don't fully know what to expect for better or worse, I guess. I like that yeah. though. You're, you're like tofu or potatoes. You kind of go with everything and whatever's around you, it just becomes sure. better. I'm Scottish, so I don't really know what tofu is. But oh. I'm <laughs> sorry. What about haggis? Wait, what, is, what, is the, what is haggis? Haggis, yeah. You're like haggis. eggs. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like you that. Like you're like eggs. You make everything just like you can start with just eggs, but you, anything you put in it, it's going to be better. That's perfect. Yep. That's perfect. I, like, I love that. That's great. Uh, this, the song itself I love because, and I don't know if you've had this before, but it, it, it doesn't sound like it. There's nothing comparable to but for some reason the song by human league don't you want me hit me in the head with this song that's amazing i if love you can that. think of that song where it's it's both a yeah. man and a woman singing and it's not you know that's not unique that that there's a male and female voice in there but talking about the same subject but definitely having a little bit of a different take about it yeah Hit me after That's like really cool. I love that idea. Time. So and I know it's bizarre to throw an 80s song out there to say it reminds me of it. And it doesn't remind me of it musically. Just your voices are just so perfect for it. And I think anyone listening goes, oh, yeah, I've fallen in love with horrible people. I'm like, I would <laughs> ask at least a dozen people that I dated that I'm just like, I once got hit because on my second date with a woman, her cat got out of the front door and then she hit me for some reason and oh. blamed me for it. I go, but I still went on the date. Why would you go on a date after a person hit you because their cat got outside of their apartment? <laughs> and I'm like, why did I go on that? So that song, like, the, I, that's why I had to listen to the song eight or nine times because I go, damn it. I'm like, I don't know if it's modern OCD where I just like, I can't focus. And it's like, they took you took me to a place though, which is good. That's what you want. That's great. That cat story is my fourth verse. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> it was. It was you a put very another bad. verse in there about about uh, your experiences. Make make yeah. a third verse or re remix <laughs> of <Yeah>. the cat. <laughs> <laughs> your first date. She opened the door, said hi. Her cat got out, and then she hit me and goes, "Go get my cat." I'm like, oh. <sighs> true love. Just How long have you been married for? <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, that, that, that's the thing. <laughs> my, my wife and I just had our 10th wedding anniversary, and I, I told her when I listened to that song, I go, there's a woman I dated way before you. And I told her that story, and she goes, she goes you've dated a lot of horrible people. I go, yes, I did. I go, but now here we are. So that's why it's just love. And I love, who who is Stephanie and Timothy? Do we have, or is it just good three, you know, syllable names that kind of worked out? So what, yeah, I get asked this a, a few times. One of them is and one of them isn't. And I don't really like to sort of give much more. One of them is completely made up and one of them is not. So that's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Serious Agnes, I love of a song. I, I don't want every <laughs> I don't want every question answered at all. <laughs> no, <I really laughs> <can imagine. laughs> Have you gotten it though? I love it. And like I said, after listening to this thing, I don't know. Now now probably a dozen times. Finally, the sixth or seventh time I did what you guys probably should never or never do, and that's read the YouTube comments. Because they went oh, yeah, all over idea. the place. Ooh, yeah, terrible what? idea. Uh, it was yeah. I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> no, it, and it, none of it was bad. It was just it seemed like no two people were listening to the same song. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I, I, I have to say that it's the, it's the funniest thing about this track because it was so simple to write it. Uh, you know, it, it was probably one of the simplest songs lyrically I feel I've, I've written. I, feel, I always say it's like, it was like write, writing a witness statement rather than a song. It was just so <laughs> straightforward. And, um, but I, I, I honestly, I'm staggered by how people just sort of resonate with it sort of immediately. You know, I've never really had a, a lyric like that before where it's been so simple, but it just seems to have struck something and people always say, it is amazing to see it, it really is. Mm. And also w with the direction it goes, a lot of songs are sort of a love is hard, love is tough, love beat me up, love left me on the side of the road in the ring. Uh, this is more, I keep on making a mistake that I am very aware of. <laughs> <You know? laughs> totally. Which I also but I, I feel uh, yeah I like I I feel there's a lot of tracks just now a lot of breakup tracks that are very empowering and very sort of like you know 
you're, you're, you're a confident person, get over it, it's all good, yeah. don't worry about it. And actually that is not my experience to breakups at all. They are horrible and messy and embarrassing and <laughs> awkward and I don't know, I feel this song sort of reflects that side of things, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is that how, uh, before you recorded it, was, was there discussions about it or was it, you're like, you, you want to put this feeling into it or was it both agreed upon, you go, it's very clear. Yeah, I don't know how you feel, Sarah. It was probably the, the latter for me. Like I say, it was very, I didn't have to think too much about this one at all. Yeah, it hon honestly, uh, when I heard it and uh, I started, I started, I started to record my voice. Um, and it's again, like, um, definitely a melody that I would never come up with and some simplicity. And I was just in, obsessed with it. And I remember recording it and it just kind of coming out so lackadaisical and, and, and just in the moment and just so sim so perfect, like trying, not trying hard at all. And you can hear it. And I mean, when I hear, hear my voice, when I, when I listen to the song, I'm like, Oh, wow. I love that. I, I, I th like, it was extremely inspiring um, to, to sing, sing on it. I'm like, but it's kind of put, put my brain into a different kind of, kind of space with, with just melodies and, and simplicity. And um, I don't know, it's just, so, just happened so simply, perfectly that way because uh, this whole pandemic has given me no, it's given me a horrible time frame. I have no idea how long time has lapsed uh, in a lot of things. Somebody will say, oh, remember last April? I go, no, I, I mean, it could have been last week. Uh, so from the time when you're talking about laying down your vocals and the time this song was released, how long was that? What was that? Did I think I heard it? I remember I was at my friend's uh, house and I was in a pool, so it was hot. And I was naked. No, I wasn't naked. Uh, yeah, it was hot enough. So it was like July. <laughs> it was, it was like, it, yeah, it was July. I think they, uh, Nate Albert, yeah. um, the man, Nate Albert, who was also in Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Oh. If you didn't know that. Did you, you knew that, Robert, right? I did know that. It took a little bit of digging to find that out, though. Oh, gosh. Really? I mean, yeah. yeah. The current, the current lineup or previously? Uh, the the current he's toured you know three three hundred and twenty days a year and he oh. has so much experience so so he's um, real quick he was our A and R guy he found us at, he was a, we he signed the weekend and okay. he signed like someone else on Republic and um, he found us or whatever the fuck um, but when he told us like we were super pumped about it then but then he told us he was in mighty mighty boss tones and we we're like we want to work with you <laughs> <laughs> he's the man though he's such a fucking rad dude oh, that's a lot of people in boss tones i mean i i always i never realized like dickie barrett is the voice guy for jimmy Kimmel oh, yeah. live at the beginning when you hear uh the people that are gonna be on there because he's got that great gravelly voice and mm -hmm. I, I, it's like, I always resonate and focus on people that have just cool voices. I mean, not singing. Just, and, and just For the radio, I get, I yes, totally get I, it. I have, I have a normal, I don't have a very good radio voice. I just, I don't know. I just keep showing up and they let me in. Uh, and that's how I've kept this job. But <laughs> any, any voice like that, some people, when they talk, you just go, oh, oh Jesus. Man. Just, you know, read the phone book, you son of a bitch. You're like, this is wonderful. <laughs> I, like, I just, there's those those Liam Shrivers and those uh, Ewan McGregor's and, and things that you're just talking. Dickie Barrett is one of those kind of like Tom Waits nephew. And you're just yeah. like, oh man, yeah. listen to that gravel. Jesus. I gotta get, I gotta get my voice on that level somehow. I don't I, know how, but once I, you know, Tom, uh, release a Tom Waits inspired <laughs> album, like, uh, uh. You taught yourself the drums, you can do that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I should have that's, done that this whole time. That's God. just hot boxing and chain smoking, I think there, Sarah. I don't think <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's easy. <laughs> Pretty easy. <laughs> Bottom shelf whiskey drinking, and that's it. That's simple. There goes huh? my voice, yep. What, what do you guys have planned? I know this sounds bizarre for the rest of 2020. Are there any plans? It's, it's... I'm, really, I'm really planning on staying alive. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's kind of my main thing. 
yeah. I'm quite looking forward to it, actually. Um, <laughs> I think Christmas is coming at some point. I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, mm -hmm. That should be Supposed good. Supposed to be still on, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. But yeah, honestly, I mean, I, yeah, again, I, I don't know what you guys are doing, but I, I feel like with the absence of live music here, mm -hmm. uh, it, there's definitely a sort of just a, like a holding pattern that most artists I know are in just now. So it's exciting to have music released and seeing it respond so well in parts of the world that I can't currently go to. But yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah I don't know. Other than that, I don't know what are you guys up to. Um, probably going to water the plants and <laughs> nice. feed the dogs um what else is what else do i have planned for the next <laughs> year literally nothing at all but i love it i love not having any plans it's kind of it's kind of nice it is kind of nice isn't it it's a little bit i, yeah. I have i have a zoom online yoga class after this interview <laughs> which i started doing in february before all this shit happened and it was just to calm myself down a little bit and it's worked. And then this happened, I go, Oh, thank God I'm doing this. Yeah. yeah. And, and I've never done yoga before. So it's, it's kind of cool. So it's finding like playing drums or, or just like walking around is mm -hmm. now sort of, I don't know. I mean, you can fight it if you want and try to go out and try to live a normal life, but it's, no. it's sort of just the Don Quixote in a windmill kind of thing. You know, yeah. you're not going to help yourself. So if you find the one thing, anything that you can yeah. do, I, I think it's been very helpful. What about live stream shows, uh, either individually, Fanagram, uh, Honor, you? Uh, I'm not, I, we've got nothing. I'm, I'm not sure about, about you, Robert. Um, we did a no, few of them, but. It's weird. I, I, I actually did, I did a little live gig. Um, okay. Did you? Yeah, yesterday, it was, it was brilliant. Like with my proper band and stuff, it was the first time we played live since February. And we were like, you know, we're miles apart and we were yeah. wearing masks for most of the day. And it was all a bit weird. But it was still like playing music with other human beings, which was Was that nice. the one in the field that I saw? Like in your own right. field? Yeah, 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 okay. totally, yeah. So I, I, saw, I saw a video of that. Thing. Was that, sorry? I saw a video of that. Was it a drone, yeah. it looked like? That's right, yeah, yeah. I, I, we posted a little teaser, so it was about we just playing to woodland creatures, which was a little bit novel, but um, <laughs> but yeah, it should be good. They seem to enjoy it. We didn't complain. Yeah, we did a um, uh, we did a uh, Fanagram did a gig with Big Grams, Big Boy, um, in Atlanta a couple of weeks ago. We played a show, so it was like Big Boy, um, and friends. So it was uh, like Goody Mob and Killer Mike and us and it, it oh was God. in a, a outside park in, in Atlanta. And it was such a trip to be play, playing because it, yeah. I it was, it was so surreal. I honestly felt like it was a dream because everything seemed completely normal. Like we were in the trailer hanging out before getting on stage and there are thousands of people screaming. But once you walked up to the stage, everyone was like set up in these little boxes and it's full, so spread apart. Um, and everyone was wasted, which was hilarious because there was, everyone was like, I don't know how to interact. I forgot how to go to a show. <laughs> like everyone's trying to figure it out. Oh, it was great. It was, it was a trip though. It was really fun. I can't wait to play shows again. <laughs> I, I know, really I can't. know, my God. <laughs> That is interesting, nice. the social interaction part where you are like just talking to someone through a mask at, you know, I saw somebody new at the liquor store down the street from me. And I think we talked for five minutes and it felt like an hour because I'm like, what else have you been up to? <laughs> what were you doing in spring? I didn't even see you this summer. And you just feel like you're just mm -hmm. on speed. You're just like, I, you know, this is so exciting to talk to somebody and interact. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know it's true. Everyone, everyone doesn't remember how to do it. It's so funny. It's really I don't. Odd. I know. No. <laughs> well, uh, one last thing. Uh, anything uh, musically you guys have been listening to during this time outside of yourselves? <laughs> oh God. I mainly listen to myself, so it's a tough one. <laughs> um, Sierra, what have you got? I'm struggling. Oh man, I, I'm terrible with this question. I can never remember. I, I, don't, I honestly have no idea. Right, I can't. I, I don't even. What's music? 
I don't know. I can never. Well, Phoebe Phoebe Bridgers' uh, record mm. came out today. I was listening to that uh, her sort of new like remix thing. That sound that was a, that's amazing actually. That's really good. I listened to that this morning. That was wicked. Like I said last um, night, last night I was watching you know, the video for Human Leagues. Don't you want me? And then I ended up watching it twice, which is weird. Cool. So uh, and that was Don't just because you so sort of reminded me of that. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know it's a hard, it's a, it's a difficult question because you don't think about it. You like my, a lot of times music is in the background. Oh, do you know who I've actually been getting really into recently is um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Believe it or not. Ooh, really? That's oh, kind of yeah. cool vibe. That's a cool vibe. Absolutely, I'm digging digging back there. So yeah, it's good. I've been doing quite a little bit of that, sort of like trying to educate myself and stuff that I probably missed earlier. So, you know, Earth, Wind, so yeah, kind of, yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire has about the same amount of band members as Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. There's about <laughs> yeah. 10 people in the band. And if you look them up, there was 30 or 40 at one time. Sometimes totally. people showed up and they go, you're in the band now. You're part of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Congratulations. Yeah. You're totally. a nice you know, now, Congo drummer. <laughs> now that I think about it, the, the stuff that I've been listening to are the songs that I've learned how to play drums with. And uh, I just learned how to play Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. <laughs> oh, I was listening to a lot of the Bee Gees recently. I said, oh, so good. So good, good stuff. Good it's stuff. I forgot. It's incredible beats. Yep. Saturday Night Fever. That's, that's the CPR song. That's what you're supposed to revive people with. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Beat. So good on yeah. two levels. Well Working done. on it. <laughs> Working hard. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate this. I uh, again love the song. It is so well done. Love your uh, in, again individual album and ceremony. The new EP is, is so well done. I'm really enjoying it and going to now listen to it more because, like I said, I think we're all locked in until 2021, where mm -hmm. at some point I hope to see you guys live here in Milwaukee. <laughs> Absolutely. Same. That would be wonderful. Thank you guys for the time. Uh, take care of yourselves. Yeah. Thank you. Work it. Thank you. Take Cheers. care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.